I wanted to do a short video for some of the pancreatic cancer patients that are out there that follow my channel. And I wanted to let you know what it's like four weeks after the Whipple. So pretty much to the day I had my Whipple surgery. And one thing that I recommend right away is get off the pain meds as quickly as you can. My hardest week was coming off the narcotics. I couldn't sleep. I was irritable. I was having panic attacks. So that's a number one. Um, so directly after the Whipple surgery in the hospital, you'll be in there for about a week and you won't get any sleep. Usually don't get any food for the first couple days. Not that you're hungry at all because they take out part of your stomach in most cases. So it's a really tough, tough week. Then when you're released, the next week that you spend in your house is incredibly hard. So those two weeks after surgery are very, very difficult. So just get ready for that. Just be mentally prepared. The second thing I recommend is being fully aware of the complications that may occur because uh, just being informed, you'll know what to look for. One thing that happens is when you get off your pain meds, you might be on Tylenol and Tylenol can mask temperatures. So as many of you know, so one thing I did, I was strategic about taking my Tylenol to make sure I had several hours where I had no Tylenol and uh, as a result, I could get an accurate te temperature check. Because of that, I was able to discover that I had an infection and was able to manage the infection very quickly. So that was uh, super important to make sure that I took my temperature on a regular basis right after surgery. One thing that I struggle with still now is making sure I get enough food and water. And it's uh, just been an ongoing challenge. You know, they take out part of your stomach so you can't eat as much. Uh, your digestion is uh, very different. So uh, just make sure that, uh, you know, the pancreatic enzyme replacements like Creon, that you're on board with those and you know how to use those and making sure that yeah, you're eating the right foods. There are some foods that I tolerated really well and some I did not tolerate at all. So once I got onto uh, a full diet, anything that was raw, I really struggled with raw berries, raw vegetables, et cetera. They were not good. So the best things uh, that I had, I'm trying to stay off a of wheat because of my MS, but the best thing for me were actually chicken salad sandwiches. So I would cut the chicken super fine and uh, everything was super fine in there. And those sandwiches, they really just uh, were fantastic. Plus I was getting enough protein to uh, uh, heal a lot of tissue damage. One of the keys to my success has been forcing myself to get out at least three times a day and walk. Even if it's just a few minutes, even if it's a five or 10 minute walk, it made a big difference. So the uh, walking is huge and it gets better every day for the most part, but uh, try to get out and walk as much as you can. Some days I only did one time, some days I did two times, and uh, the days that I did three times were the best days. Yesterday, I was at the hospital for a couple different things. I went for genetic uh, counseling as well as for port maintenance. Uh, anybody who is experiencing uh, cancer and is getting chemotherapy knows exactly what I'm talking about. We have an implant in our chest and that needs to be maintained on a monthly basis. So uh, keep up with that maintenance. Uh, that way you won't run into any problems uh, down the road. Uh, the genetic counseling was very informative and actually uh, gave a heads up uh, to my uh uh, siblings, as well as uh, uh, to my son. So I think it's really fantastic. If you have the opportunity to get genetic counseling, please do that. I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead in now, right now and uh, try to have a high protein lunch. Um, obviously, I can't eat a lot. So I try to eat about every two hours when I can. So uh, best of luck to anybody. If anybody has any other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out.